Welcome back guys, this is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to see about environment setup for doing our projects. So we are going to see about Anaconda, Google Colab and Kaggle Notebooks. First, we are going to see about Anaconda. Go to anaconda.com website and scroll down. In Anaconda, we have three editions that is individual edition, team edition and enterprise edition. For us, we are going to go with individual edition. Click on that and again scroll down. So these are the setup files we are going to download. Make sure you are going to download Python 3.7 because I am going to code entirely with that version. Choose the bit version accordingly. Don't confuse with 64 and 32 bit version. Check your computer properties and download the according version. I have already downloaded and installed the software. So after installing, Press the start button and type Jupyter Notebook. Now click on that. So in Jupyter Notebook, we are going to code everything. It will create a new tab in our browser. Now it opened a new tab. You can find this folders in C drive. Users. Select the corresponding username. This is the directory we are seeing here. So this is the directory. We will create a new folder. So the new folder has been created. We can rename the folder by selecting the folder and select rename. I will change it to demo. Rename. Enter the folder. Now we are going to create a notebook file. Click on new and select python3. So this is the Jupyter notebook file. So this is a cell. In the cell we are going to type our code and run it. Let's print some statements. Print Welcome to the tutorial. Now to run the cell, you can click the run button or press shift plus enter. So if you run the cell, the output will be displayed below the cell. If you want to create a new cell, click the B button on the keyboard. If you want to create a new cell above the current cell, press the A button. Now it create a cell above it. You can also insert the cell using the menus. Here insert cell above, insert cell below. And you can also run all the cells and run all the cells above, run all the cells below. Like that it has various option. You can restart the entire program and run it from the start. If you want to checkpoint some output, you can click on save and checkpoint or you can click the file button, save and checkpoint. If you want to go back to the checkpoint, you can click to revert to checkpoint and go back to the selected checkpoint. It will show you the saved output. So this is the basic operations in notebook. If you want to install some module, you can directly install here. Use the exclamation mark and pip install numpy. So again shift plus enter. When the cell is running, it will show this asterisk mark. It means the cell is currently running. Now it says requirement already satisfies. That means it already installed. You can also install any module using this pip command. You can also run windows commands using the exclamation mark and just directly run the cell. While installing, you will face some errors like you need to have some administrative privileges like that. So to avoid that, you can install using anaconda prompt, press the start button and type anaconda prompt, run the prompt as administrator. Now in this prompt, you can install any module, here also pip install pandas, run it. Now the module is already installed, so it didn't install anything. You can also use the command conda install and the module name. Check the module name properly because it will differ between pip and conda. Check the module using Google. Using this, you can install all the necessary models we need for the projects. Close the window. If you want to run the code in the system, you can use Anaconda and the Jupyter Notebook. If your machine is powerful enough, if you don't have a powerful machine, you can use Google Colab or Kaggle. Create a new tab and type Google Colab. 
click on the first link. Now this is the home page of Colab. We will create a new notebook. Now it's creating a new notebook for us. It is almost similar to Jupyter Notebook. So all the operations will be similar to that. After opening the new notebook, you need to connect it. Press connect. It will allocate some RAM and disk space for us. Now after connecting it, this is the remaining RAM and disk space. So we have 12 GB of RAM and 107 GB of disk space. So we have so much memory in Google Colab. You can use that. And here, go to the file section and select mount drive. Connect to Google Drive. When you click the mount drive, you will ask to sign into your Google account in order to access the Google Colab. After that, you can choose the file section here, drive, my drive. And this is the Colab notebooks. All the notebooks will be available here. Select it. Untitled 0 is the current notebook we are using. So you have to create a root path like this. Root path equals. Type the path accordingly to the project folder. After typing the path, you can access your uh, CSV files or the data files from there. So that's all the basic operations. If you want to run the notebook with a GPU or TPU enabled, select runtime and here change runtime type. Select it. Here the hardware accelerator is GPU or TPU. Currently it is using CPU. We can have it as none. You can select GPU or TPU. Most of the time we will be using GPU only. Select it and save the notebook. It will refresh it and you can have access to the GPU. It will speed up many of the operations while using deep learning programs. So it will be very useful. That's it for Google Colabs. And the other one is Kaggle Notebook. This is the home page of Kaggle. In the left pane, select Notebooks. Here you can create your own notebook. Select it. Select the language. Now I'm using Python. And the notebook, I'm going to select notebook, advanced settings, accelerator, you can also select here GPU or TPU. You can also select that later if you want. Now I am choosing none. Click on create. It will take some time to get the session started. This is the Kaggle notebook. If you select this draft session, you can see how much space available for us. We have 16 GB of RAM and 5 GB of disk. Here you can select the accelerator and you can enable the internet. If you want to install some modules, you can directly download the modules using pip command. If you want to upload your own files, select add data. And you can click on upload or you can choose the data set from Kaggle also or you can upload and select your own files here. After selecting the files, the files will be available here. Here Kaggle working. Under this directory, you will have your files. You can directly access that. You can run the cells by clicking run button or you can select shift plus enter. If you run it. Yeah, currently it doesn't have anything, so it didn't print anything. For the GPU, you will have about 16 GB of memory. That much memory is enough for our deep learning projects. If you have any doubts in the setup process, please leave a comment below and subscribe the channel for future videos. See you guys in the next video.